Hello friends and welcome to another Pokemon update video. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Thanks for tuning in and today we're going to be just covering a quick bit of news that has dropped tonight regarding the 2020 VGC season. So, Pokemon have just tweeted out some news about the 2020 season and we'll go through the tweets there's three of them here so the first one is <clears throat> one of three as you can see they're on your screen now update to the pokemon vg's official competitive rules regional forms that were not available prior to pokemon home uh, uh, alolan nine tails etc all those are currently not permitted in official competitions you'll be able to unlock a, a battle team containing one of these forms until series three and then it goes on to say season series three opens on the 1st of March. The following Pokemon will become legal provided they have the Galar symbol. So if they are bred in the Galar region, that's all that means, then these Pokemon will be legal. All regional forms, including Galarian Slowpoke, which is a brand new Pokemon that has been recently revealed in the games and released in the games. Uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Rowlet, Litten, Poplio, and their evolutions. So we're looking at Venusaur, Blastoise, uh, Decidueye, um, the Poplio <laughs> evolution. I can't remember it for the life of me. And Incineroar, yay! Incineroar is back. Um, and there'll be more Gigantamax Pokemon to be announced. And then it ends off with, not that event spanning multiple days, such as regional championships. We'll use the format that was live on the first day of the event throughout the main tournament. The VG rules and the format document will be updated in the coming days with all the information. So, that is some huge news because we started this season thinking probably we'd only get a rotation of the Gigantamax Pokemon, considering that we've got different rotations in the wild area, and we've only got a really small portion of them now available in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, but it looks like on the 1st of March, so we've only got a little over two weeks now, and then the format will be changing, and we will have... All of these Pokemon, Venusaur, Blastoise, not Mewtwo or Mew or Celebrity or Jirachi. Um, Cobalion, Terrakion, Verizion won't be, Reshiram, Zekrom, Curum, Keldeo won't be. But anything that you can breed like Decidueye, Incineroar, Primarina, there's the one. Um, anything that you can breed obviously will be accessible. The Alolan forms, so Alolan Raichu, Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Dugtrio. Alolan Persian, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Kanto Rapidash, uh, Kanto Farfetch'd, Kanto Weezing, Corsola, Lanoon, Darmanitan. If you can breed these Pokemon, Stunkfish, if you can breed them, obviously I'm not sure if you can breed regular Kanto Darmanitan, but if you can't, then they're obviously not available. But if you can, and they can have the Galar symbol, then they are going to be eligible to be used in the future VG tournaments after the 1st of March. Um, I I don't know. I don't know what to, to say about the rules. I'm not, like, super, super happy about Incineroar coming back of all. I know there's, like, a lot of kind of displeasure about it right now and for good reason like Incineroar was really really centralizing when it got introduced in 2018 it kind of overthrew Landorus Therian from its kind of place of being the the main intimidator in the format took Arcanine's place and um, it's got access to new tools now like parting shot and you can Dynamax it so it's 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 like fake outs less powerful now, but I think mm, it's still gonna have a really big impact in the game and it will change how the format plays out for the rest of the year. Be interesting to see the new Gigantamax forms that they'll rotate in. I'm betting that it'll probably be Lapras. Um but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how the format plays out. It would have been nice in my opinion to just keep the the, the Pokemon that we've got at the moment. As the Pokemon and just rotate the the G Max Pokemon, the Gigantamax Pokemon, and then introduce all of these other 
Alolan variant and the Kanto Pokemon that we've just had through Pokemon Home introduced in the 2021 season with probably some of the DLC content that we get in June time. So that would have been my ideal. And then it gives the newer Pokemon a bit more time to shine um, because I feel now potentially it's going to get a bit, a bit, a bit too kind of centralized with some of the Pokemon that we've got and coming into the format so i just hope we don't end up with an incineroar on everyone's team um because you're going to be looking at like incineroar togekiss excadrill dragapult <laughs> and they're going to be your they're going to be your big four and i mean arcanine's there in place of incineroar right now but i don't feel like that four is going to be something that would be sticking around for the foreseeable future the format's going to be changing but maybe incineroar changes that a little bit but who knows who knows there are answers to every Pokemon. Let's see how it plays out. This is just a quick video. Uh, it'd be great to hear your thoughts on it down below. Do let me know. Um, and we'll be back very shortly with more content. Thanks for tuning in, friends. And uh, I'll speak to you all very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.